Get the best results from Palazzo using ChatGPT with effective prompt writing. Hey, I'm Steph Essen, and today I'm gonna show you how to unlock the full potential of AI design. I'll cover some best practices and tips for crafting perfect prompts and how using ChatGPT can enhance your outcomes, including some advanced techniques. First, let's talk about why prompt writing is so important. A well-crafted prompt can make the difference between a good design and an outstanding one. So the clarity and specificity of your prompts directly impact the quality of the AI-generated designs. When you provide detailed information, the AI can better understand your vision and deliver results that match your expectations. This is especially crucial in design projects where the nuances of style, color, and layout play a significant role. Think of your prompt as like a blueprint for the AI. The more comprehensive your blueprint, the better the AI can execute the design. Vague prompts often lead to generic and uninspired results, while more specific prompts guide the AI AI to create something truly unique and tailored to your needs. Effective prompt writing also saves a lot of time and effort. By being clear and specific from the start, you reduce the need for multiple iterations and revisions, making the design process smoother and more efficient. Additionally, well-crafted prompts help in capturing the emotional essence of a space. So whether you're designing for a cozy living room or a sleek office space, your prompt should convey the desired atmosphere and functionality to ensure the final design resonates with its intended purpose. Ultimately, the key to successful AI design lies in how well you communicate your ideas through prompts. So mastering this skill will enable you to harness the full potential of tools like Palazzo, transform Transforming your vision into reality with both precision and creativity. So now let's talk about some best practices for writing effective prompts. First, be clear and specific. Instead of saying, design a dining room, be more detailed. For example, create this into a modern dining room with a wooden table and globe-shaped chandelier. Next is descriptive language. Use adjectives and specific terms to paint a clear picture of what you envision. This includes colors, materials, and overall feel. So let's add on to our prompt. Include warm tones and modern artwork on the walls that have a splash of pastel color. Finally, clearly state which elements and styles should be avoided to prevent undesired outcomes. So let's keep adding. Avoid dark colors and heavy ornate furniture to maintain a light, airy feel. As you can see, with each stage of refining the prompt leads to more detailed and tailored design outcomes. Start with a clear description, adding colorful language and including specific instructions on what to avoid will help the AI generate a design that truly meets your needs and expectations. Writing a great prompt takes practice and time, and it's not always easy to get it right. Thankfully, generative AI tools like ChatGPT can be incredibly useful when coming up with prompts. So let's explore how ChatGPT can be a helpful tool in the process. Palazzo already has a great style transfer tool built in, but if you wanna get more specific, you can use ChatGPT to upload an inspiration photo and ask for a detailed description to use in your prompt. Let's take a look at this in action. I know I like this picture of the room, but I don't necessarily know how to describe it from an interior design perspective. ChatGPT can help you come up with a prompt that helps Palazzo better understand what you're looking for and the specific aspects of the room you want to incorporate. You can also ask ChatGPT for design ideas based on a specific style. So here's a prompt example. Give me design ideas for mid-century modern living room with a focus on natural materials and clean lines. You can then take those ideas a step further and edit them into prompts that you can use in Palazzo. If you work in real estate or another client facing industry, this becomes really awesome because you can use your buyer's preferences and what you know about them to generate prompts that resonate with them personally. For example, if a buyer is looking to buy a beach house and they have a five-year-old kid, you can take a picture of the bedroom from the listing and create an updated, more playful design that fits their needs and use ChatGPT to help you create a great prompt. 
So for this example, I'm gonna say, redesign a bedroom for a five-year-old child with a tasteful nautical theme. The room should be bright and cheerful, incorporating shades of blue, white, and touches of red. Include elements like nautical wall decals and striped bedding. The furniture should be child-friendly and include a small dresser, a bookshelf for toys and books, and a cozy reading nook with a soft rug and a beanbag chair. Add a fun element like a ship's wheel mounted on the wall or a rope ladder for climbing. Ensure the design is safe and appropriate for a young child with rounded corners on furniture and secure fixtures. This is a really meaty prompt, so let's see what Palazzo can do with all of this information. Okay, so I'm looking at the picture now and I'm noticing that Palazzo didn't get every single element that I mentioned